we shall never know just how many historical documents are in fact counterfeit. History in general goes hand in hand with the history of forgeries. Countless chronicles as well as works of art and literature have been considered authentic for centuries before becoming denounced as counterfeit. A presumed fragment of Cicero's De Consolatione discovered by the famous humanist scholar Sigonius only became identified as a work of the latter two centuries after the death of the author. We would probably still believe in Cicero's authorship of said fragment if it hadn't been for the discovery of Sigonius' written confession. Similar examples are rather abundant, the thespian poet Lucius Verus who turned out to be a 18th century Dutch scientist by the name of Hurkins plagiarizing from the 16th century Venetian author Carrario, classical text sold to the Leipzig library by a certain Shenis in the 1920s and so forth. Think of just how many remain undiscovered, after all, the larger part of the iceberg always remains underwater. However, there may be an equal amount of valid historical documents in existence that were declared forgeries due to their being at odds with the official history. Anatoly Fomenko, the prominent mathematician, was the first to apply natural scientific methods to historical data. Coming up with a revolutionary theory which implies a radical revision of history as we know it. This theory finally explains such historical oddities as the existence of Christian tabernacles in the pagan town of Pompeii and the Ottoman Turks referred to as Persians in medieval documents. It is rendered in Fomenko's fundamental work entitled, History, Fiction or Science which is finally out in English. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fiction or Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time. We are accustomed quite well to thinking that the events described in the Bible, and especially in the Old Testament, date back to an epoch so distant that it can hardly be called historical in the usual sense. We seem to know everything there is to know about these times and these characters, in particular that most of them date to epochs preceding the New Era by a couple of millennia, and that the events described in the Bible took place in and around the Middle East for the most part. Could all of what we know be untrue? Even the most scrupulous of scientists who ever had to tackle the gigantic array of data contained in the Bible were basing their research on the existing chronology. The sole exception to this is a group of mathematicians who have used the newest statistical methods to analyze the Bible from an altogether different standpoint, having revised the consensual chronology completely prior to that. The results are astonishing to say the least. We learn that the Biblical Jerusalem was in fact located on the Bosporus and known as Constantinople and that the Biblical kingdoms of Israel and Judah can be identified as the medieval Roman Empire. The familiar characters transform into the medieval doppelgangers which are a lot less familiar to us but known quite well to historians. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fiction or Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time.